So welcome everybody to the Mid-Manhattan Library. Today we'll be working with Susan Shute and her staff in the Mid-Manhattan Picture Collection. So come on and follow me. The Picture Collection started about 1914. It was meant for people like yourselves because it was meant for artists. The artists needed places to find their visual research. So we started this collection. These kinds of books are the kinds of books that we cut up and we classify them into one of 12,000 subjects. What you see in front of you, these papers, they have a listing of some very obvious superhero related topics that we have in the file. This is like the bare bones basics of what you can look for. Superheroes like fashion have changed over the years. Besides things that are called superheroes, there's a lot of other headings like this. It doesn't sound too promising at first. Stage costume opera. But it has lots of interesting capes and hats, treatments of clothing, sashes, all sorts of interesting things that you could get ideas from. Go with your inspiration, look for what you want, don't assume we don't have it. Always try other routes to find something. Your creative ideas are just as good as anything that's in print. So use your minds, use your inspiration, and come up with something really neat and creative. And we're happy to help you do it. Since I was thinking superhero, I was thinking heroic and courage, so I was thinking Greek mythology. I had found Hercules, but while I was looking, I found his cape. He had lion as a cape, so I was thinking of that as an inspiration to make a, probably a fur cape. to do a villain, but I want to incorporate some of these skirts into it. I want to have a cape on it to have the same superhero thing to it. I know what character like inspires me, so I kind of know where I want it to be. Watch me. Okay. I want something that's like very form fitting. Okay, was there a character in Watchmen? Okay. Silk Spectrum. Okay. So, I know I want something very tight and sexy. Okay. But I want the cape so that it still can be covered up. With my design, I want to do a corset that kind of looks like this. And I want to do a cape where the collar is high. And I want it to be like more layers than it's like so it can look like it's ruffled. The superhero I'm choosing is Emma Frost. And she usually wears like all white. So I want to make everything white. And it's going to have like studs around the collar of the cape and around like the whole scene. And probably like something small like this. And it's going to have studs on the sides. So I hope you've all had fun looking through the Mid-Manhattan Picture Library collection. Thank you to Jay and Susan for the orientation. Let's head out. This is the Art and Architecture Collection, and everything in this room is dedicated to art, architecture, design, and the history of all of those disciplines. So the books in this library are used in this building. They don't circulate out of the building. If you want to use a digital camera or your phone to take pictures, have at it. You know, look, look at our website on nypl.org and go to the digital gallery and look under cloak or cape okay. and you're going to get all sorts of images. First I looked under cape, so then you get like 
capes, like Cape Cod and that sort of thing. So then I did capes. And then you get all of these images. And when you find one that's sort of interesting, you can blow it up. You can blow it up twice, as a matter of fact. And then um, if you're interested, then it tells you where it came from and that sort of thing. I hope you have found all the sources of inspiration here in the library. I can't wait to see the garment sketches that you come up with, and I look forward to going fabric shopping with you very soon. Thank you for visiting us at the New York Public Library, and let's get started designing.